Hi, welcome to the Ninth Age Fantasy Battles. Today I'm going to be taking you through the 2022 beta changes. Or I really, these are really the final changes for the Siren Ancients, and the, the points are going to be set for them for the rest of 2022. Now, if you are a Siren Ancient player, um, you may have been known on the uh, forums. They just they have announced that um, that is one of the next um, LABs that they are working on. So this is probably going to be your last year playing with these. So these are the final changes before a brand new book. So take that with a grain of salt if you're not happy with them. It's really the last year. Um, I do want to talk about uh, context and disclaimer. The, there are points changes across the board. Uh, they're just there to help the low and mid-tier armies. So take all these changes with a grain of salt. And f uh, these are the final changes, as I mentioned, but there still might be a hot fix just to fix some minor errors because occasionally things do slip through the cracks. So let's get into the changes. Um, I, I do also want to mention that I'm only going to go through the changes that happened. In, this is the beta 2. So what happens, if you're not familiar with the release, what happens at the end of every year is they evaluate the points and they come out with, uh, they change some things. Usually it's in December. That's the beta one. Then um, a little bit later, a month or two later, then they have evaluated how those changes affect those armies. And they take recommendations. And then they, they sometimes, they make a few final tweaks. That's the beta patch two. And then they make the armies gold again for the rest of the year so i'm just going to go through what these final changes are if you're interested in those original changes go please check them out i am going to list some of those original changes but only as they uh, are pertinent to the final changes here so if something was changed in the first um, patch and then it, it was changed again in the second patch i'm going to list it out but otherwise i'm not going to list out every single change from the first patch all right, so here we go. Uh, and I do also want to mention I don't play Saurian Ancients. I've started collecting them, but it's going to take me a long time to actually get the army that I want because I have a very, very unique flair for it. So uh, I'm not the expert on it, but I just kind of am evaluating this from a points perspective and as someone who has played against them from a couple of times. So uh, for the characters, the Cayman Ancient, in 2021 it cost 195 points. There was no change to the Cayman Ancient in the first beta patch, but then they reduced that cost down to 190. Uh, pretty small change. Five points for a Cayman Ancient. Uh, okay, the, the Kawadi Lord. Now, there he was a victim, or she, I guess, depending on your Kawadi Lord. Let's not... Uh, <laughs> Depending on your Kawadi Lord, there was a pretty big change across all the armies in the first beta patch, and that was to make all the masters more expensive. So uh, he was 445, and he went up to 470, and now they've backtracked that a little bit in this beta patch to back down to 460. So he's still 15 points more expensive than the uh, original Kawadi Lord you're used to playing with, but really that's not that big of an increase. Um, the only upgrade that was changed for him in this patch is the Protean Potentate. Uh, that was 65 points. It wasn't touched, as far as I could tell, in the first beta patch, but it, then they're reducing that to 60 points. In, in the first beta patch, they went and adjusted a lot of the different, um, upgrades for the Kawadi Lord, except for this one. So this just looks like they're bringing this one alongside in line to kind of be competitive with the other upgrades. All right. And then we have the Saurian Veterans, which was 170 in 2021. And uh, they originally reduced that to 165. Um, and now with this final beta patch, it's down to 160. So you're getting a 10 points cheaper Saurian Vet. Uh, those for uh, those are commonly used as cowboys, so your cowboy is just a little bit cheaper. Um, but sometimes, you know, having that extra 10 points in your character section can help you just s slide in something a little bit extra um, that makes your cowboys really pop. Uh, and then uh, Saurian Warlords were 260. They didn't touch them at all originally, and then they decided to bring them down to 255. So again, these are all really minor changes. Um... My opinion on character changes when you're just talking about 5 or 10 points here and there in the character section, I don't really find that that, that big of a deal to me. It doesn't really make me excited most of the time unless it's something I'm going to spam. 
So, like, if I was going to bring 10 Saurian veterans and now they're 10 points cheaper, well, now I suddenly have 100 points, so that would make me excited. But, uh, you know, when you're bringing one or two Saurian vets and you suddenly, you, you know, all you got was 10 points, that's not really that big of a deal. So, anyway, um, but really what I get excited for are core changes, because core changes are where some major things can happen. So, Saurian warriors were 250, and additional models were 18. They reduced that in the first patch down to 240, um, and then they reduced additional models down to 17. Now, with this patch, they brought that at base cost down even further to 235, but they didn't touch the additional points. Um, so, that means that, you know, for a unit of 30, you might be saving yourself... Let's see, that's 15 and 15. You might be saving yourself 30 points, which is uh, decent because now that they cost 17, you can almost bring another two additional models, which sometimes can make a difference. Or you can take that 30 points, and um, I don't know what else you can do with them. That's that's worth a banner. Sometimes you can't fit a banner in, so you can fit another banner in. Um, I did list out the crocodile because I think they're doing this because crocodile wasn't used as much. Uh, so the additional models they reduced down to two. So I just wanted to point that out. That uh, I don't know how much that really will affect your list at all, but there it is. Skink Braves were one thirty-five with additional models at six. They re originally just reduced the additional models cost down to five so you can bring a lot more skink braves for that one point per model and then they would they now in the beta patch two they're bringing that down to 130 for the base cost of the unit so again it's points that are going to be coming alongside kind of like for saurian warriors so now that that's on two of your core units suddenly maybe you're not saving 30 points you're saving 60 or 90 points because you're going to have to bring like at least three or four units so now suddenly you might have gotten yourself another hundred points in core um if you were bringing big blocks if you're just bringing small like skink brave units i think their base size is 15 so if you're just bringing the base size you've only saved yourself five points but if you're bringing some bigger blocks now suddenly you're saving yourself some points um uh skink braves came in upgrade uh, I just wanted to list this out because this kind of figures into it. So if you were bringing Caymans inside of your Skink Braves, they had reduced that cost down to 65. So I'm trying to think how many Skink Braves you'd have to bring. Um, like you almost now have enough points where you can just stick a, a Cayman inside of your Skink Braves because of the point savings that you're getting. So that's kind of cool. And uh, same thing with bow shots. Those are just a slightly cheaper. So... No big deal. Uh, special changes. Caymans were 210 and 70. They didn't touch them at all in the first patch. And then they decided to bring them down to 205. And additional models down to 69. Uh, this is the same thing as like with the characters. When you're just bringing a model that costs 70 points, you're only touching it by one point. To me, that doesn't really do anything. But I guess it helps. I mean, it's, t it's 205 now for the first three. And then you can go up to a unit of 10. I I don't think I've ever seen a unit of 10. But theoretically, if you're bringing a unit of 10, it's now 12 points cheaper than what it was before, which is 12 points. So now you've bought yourself two more Skink Braves, is what that is. So, I don't know. Uh, Temple Guard, though, got a pretty big decrease. So they were at 345, and then additional models were 28. They brought that down to 330 and 27 with the first beta patch, and now they're bringing them down even more to 325, which is 20 points cheaper than they were in 2021 for the base cost of the unit, and then the additional models down to 26. These are commonly used as a big bodyguard block for your Kawaddle, so now suddenly your bodyguard unit, uh, let's see, I don't know, how many, how many do people bring, like 25? So you're saving 20 points for the first 15, and then if you bring another 10, you're saving yourself 20 more points than what they were in 2021. So now you saved yourself 40 points um, for bringing a unit 25, which at 40 points you can give yourself, that's not enough for a rending banner, but it's close. 
Um, and then Raptor Riders, they also have brought down uh, from 240. They originally brought them down to 230 and then down to 225. I have to be honest, I've played against Sardine Ancients a couple times, and I don't know if I've ever seen Raptor Riders used. So I think this is just something to help nudge people in that direction. And additional models are now 35. Okay, uh, Jungle Ghoul, Gorillas, and Thunder Lizards. There was a lot of changes to Thunder Lizards, it looked like, in Beta Patch 1, so go check those out. Not a whole lot has changed with those in this second patch. Um, more things were changed with the Chameleons. So, Chameleons are were 135 and 16 for additional. They brought they had additional points cost down to 15 originally. Um, so so these starting units of five, um, that's going to be like chaff level. Um, so they wanted to encourage you to bring bigger units. So that's why they brought that down just a little bit to 15 points for extra models. And then now they're bringing down the overall cost down to 130 for that first five. So now if you bring a unit of 10, it's 10 points cheaper. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of the, and then, uh, so let's see, like if you saved 40 points in your Temple Guard, you've saved 10 points on your Chameleons, you've saved 20 points in your characters, um, and then you've saved like 100 points in your core. Now suddenly you've got, you know, what, an extra 200 points to play with. Um, Ramphodon Riders were 230 and 64 additional. They brought that additional cost down to 50. And then they decided to bring the uh, original, the base cost down to 225. And then that additional points down to 49. So your Ramphodon Riders are cheaper as well. Uh, they didn't touch the shields, but I just listed that there just to, you know, if you bring them with shields. Now you have, you know, from the point savings you're getting, let's see, 5 cheaper. And now 11 points cheaper. Well, that's not enough to bring shields on all your guys if you weren't bringing them before but it's getting close um weapon beasts were 145 with 115 for additional uh they weren't touched at all in beta patch one but in this they're bringing the base cost down to 140 so again that's another five points there pterodon centuries were 180 and 25 for additional they brought that additional down to 20 in the first patch and now again they're bringing down that base cost by five so um and again i just showed the shields just so now you're saving enough points where you can put shields on your sentries if you weren't before um and then the stygiosaur was 300 they brought that down to 290 but originally the mystic traveler they increased by 10 so that cost the same with the, with the first beta patch. With this, they're bringing the Stygiosaur down to 285. So now it's just five points cheaper than it was before. And so it's 15 points cheaper if you don't use it with Mystic Traveler. Um, it's only five points cheaper if you do use it with Mystic Traveler. All right. Those are all the changes for the Siren Ancients. Let me know what you think. Do any of those changes... Uh, make you more motivated to play with Saurian Ancients? Do any of them make you less motivated or excited to play with them? Um, personally, as someone who started to collect them, I'm really excited about those Saurian Warriors and the Temple Guard because those are the things that interest me a lot in addition to the Chameleons. So uh, we'll see. I'm I'm not probably not going to have an army together before the new book is out so who knows what the new book's going to look like but anyway i'm just going to wrap it up right there hope that you enjoy playing your Saurian warriors in 2022